Some people call me swing trader, so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you how I swing trade stocks. The biggest thing for me about swing trading is actually finding the stocks. So this is stock twits here. It's basically the Twitter of stocks. If you trade stocks, you gotta have stock twits. It's just another way of getting information and you can see what people are talking about as well. So another way I use to get information is actually Twitter. And you basically just need to search for stock related items like stock market, swing trading, basically stuff like that and just see what kind of people are out there and what kind of tweets they're making. So if some Somebody sees a good stock or whatever and they tweet it out you'll get that information so this would be another way of how I could find swing trades so just for example here's a tweet that says OSK this guy's doing an earning play on stocks so let's go ahead and take a look at OSK real quick but just say I was looking for swing trades and I look at this chart and I'm trying to think, should I consider this as a swing trade? So what I do first is I go ahead and set my support and my resistance lines. Support, resistance. So looking at this right now, it's telling me it's not gonna be very good for a swing trade. Let me show you why, let me zoom in here real quick. I mean, it's kind of bluntly obvious why. You can see it's going in this channel. And right now you're you're not even really in the middle. I guess you are in the middle of the channel, but it really doesn't give you much room for it to go up because you have resistance here at about $86. So I'm basically looking for stocks, say if they are going in a channel like this, I want it to be down here on support, starting to bounce off of that. So say the stock came down here, bounced off this, and you got in at about $82. For the swing trade, you'd probably want to sell out about 85.50, maybe even 86. So this stock would be a no-go for me. So this guy's saying GSB for a swing. You don't want to buy a stock when it's absolutely at its highest for a swing trade or anything in general. You don't want to buy a stock when it's at its absolute highest because you're paying top price for it. Let's look at the 10 year, two day chart to get a bigger picture of it. Sure enough, it's at its highest right now that it's ever been, at least in 10 years. And I'm gonna tell you where I would be a buyer. You have support right down here, about at 1080, 1050. I would wanna wait for the stock to have a nice little pullback and then bounce off of this area. And that's when I would be a buyer for a swing trade because you're gonna be looking for a bounce off that support. And the RSI is getting very overbought right now, as you can see right down here in the bottom. So this is when you can go ahead and set alerts for this stock. So you can set an alert Alert and it can let you know when the stock goes under 1085. So one way of finding swing trades is you can subscribe to my channel. And I know you're probably thinking, hey, this is a plug right off the bat, but this is how I actually got started. Say I like the stock IQ and I wanted to get more information about it. I would type IQ in Google and then I would go straight to the videos and see what kind of videos that are out there on it. It's just another way of getting information. And I think it's way more entertaining than reading numbers. Low float penny stocks. And this is basically just a webpage right here, lowflow.com. And it basically just gives you a list of low float penny stocks. Basically because a low flow stock is gonna more or less have more intense moves to it because there's not as many shares of it. And this right here just happens to be high volume penny stocks. But with any stocks with a lot of volume, they're gonna tend to make more aggressive moves. It could be to the upside, but it could also be to the downside. High volume does not mean the stock is gonna go up. It just means a lot of people are trading it. But when I look for swing trades, I like stocks with high volume. Why? Because it helps me get to my number rather than a low volume stock. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the swing trades that I'm actually in right now. Typically for a swing trade, you wanna be in it for about two to three weeks. So that's true with some of my swing trades, but there's also some where I wanna stay in it a little bit longer because I'm actually down on my money, but I know that the stock's gonna end up recovering. So I don't wanna get out of it just to lose money. So this is one that I'm in right here. And right now I'm actually in at $6.33. And I can honestly say that I've been swing trading this stock about two times. And what I mean by that is I initially bought when it was right around 6.33. And when the stock came up here around 7.22, I actually sold a little bit of my position because I actually wanted to keep a portion of it because I believe this stock is gonna keep going higher. But I wanted to go ahead and get some of my profits out. So this is one I actually got into today. This swing trade has a really good setup. The float on it is very low, about one point something million. And the company just came out and said that they're not gonna be doing dilution, which is really good with a low flow stock like that. Companies normally start dilution and it makes the stock go down. But this is something that I gotta keep my eye on because right now it's gonna be coming up to resistance here at about 1015. And if I see it start to bounce off of it, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of probably about half of my position on this just so I can collect my money. But this is another stock that I believe that it's gonna keep running. So I wanna make sure I don't lose out on it. So that's why I'm just gonna get rid of half of my position, kind of a half ass of a swing trade. So I hope that helped you out on how I do my swing trades. I think everybody does it a little bit different. So this is basically how I do it. If you guys wanna comment down below and please let me know how you guys do it because it's always good to learn. You are still watching. Have you hit the like button yet?